welcome back to episode 2 of this Kushal Mendes career mode and today we continue on 41 out of 52 deliveries so let's get straight into it we're trained by Sim Runs so let's get cracking right here we are training by Sim Runs so let's go Oh, first ball. Sure thing, buddy. Nah, we'll stay. It's all good. It's a good ball, but I've worked that away, and that should be four. Wow. Good shot. Making up for that last swing and a miss. By hitting it for four. Right. I'm in a bit of a weird position now. Look at that. Right in front of the stump. Oh, I've nicked it. That's two, yep. Already quite a fast start. All good. Right. So we're training by just one run now. On 47. Let's see what Chitara can do. No run. Yeah, well, good balling. Yeah, well, ball. Always the calls. Right, 47. Away from the fielder. And we're going to take a single. And now we are leveling the score with Zimbabwe only two wickets down. Which is pretty impressive. Right, let's see what this guy can do to us first up. Full toss. Just a single. Oh, 49. Oh, Sean Williams is bowling a bit of spin. 44 hours left from 49. Surely we can get a 50. Yeah, there it is. 50 in the first episode. Pretty good. Good scenes. Good scenes. But it is against Zimbabwe, so uh, we have to keep ourselves in check. It's against a pretty modest team, so um, we should expect getting 50, but regardless, 50 is still a good achievement. That means we're not bottom of the score um, when it comes to the end of the innings, which is good. That means that we're not the uh, lowest target if we're getting dropped. And it keeps our test average nice and high. Regardless, we now lead by seven runs. Could look for another two, I reckon, yeah. It's a bit of a tight one, actually. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I should be more careful on those runs, but that's all good. Alright, last ball of the over. What can we do? I'm going to leave that. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be happy if this is the case. Ah, surely my foot's down, right? I'd like to think my foot's down there, and even there. Like, my foot's down, right? My foot's down, yeah? Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was very worried there. I don't know. We're back on strike again somehow. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Why did my guy move across? No, I'm gonna... No, it's just no run. Weird, my guy keeps moving across mid shot. No. Good. Penyagara. Penyangara. There we go. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Full in the slot. Surely that's a boundary. Oh, good fielding though by Zimbabwe in the deep. And that will be a decent throw. Which will be three rounds. 57. Right, we're just going to keep looking to tick things over. Because we uh, still need to get lots of runs to make sure that we have a good lead. When we go out to bat. I mean, bowl. We're already batting. When we go out to bowl in the next innings. 
And that is going to be some runs. Some lines. We're going to take two of them so we can get back on strike. I don't know why the crowd went up there, but it's fine. Maybe it was for 100 partnership. It was 100 partnership, that's why. Okay, makes sense. Cool, 100 partnership. Away from the field as well, so we're going to take the quick single to move to 58. Look at this field. A short leg, a short mid wicket, forward square leg, and a bit on, and barely anything on the offside. So I know where he's bowling. He better ball straight. No, we can't take any runs there now. He's hit me as well, thanks. I'm just going to be patient. We found our strength. Okay. <laughs> that was lucky. Um, I think that's our first drop of the career mode, I'd say. But, um, that's fine. Just have to play it down. Oh, there we go. Nice shot. It's in the gap. Looks to be running. Just timed. Four runs. Look at that. Just a nice drive. With the spin. Four runs. We're going to block that. Nah. It's a good ball. Um, anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not sure who Kushal Silva is sponsored by. Um, we're going to have to look. Oh my goodness, that's almost a wide. It is a wide. Wow. Umpire's like, nah, mate. You, it's a wide. Yeah, there we go. It's in the gap. I'm only one, though. But uh, yeah, it's been a good start for the career mode so far, actually. It's been a while since I scored rounds on Legend. Um, if you've been watching uh, France Clock career mode, been struggling a little bit. In terms of, well, probably because we play a lot of limited overs cricket, and uh, it's quite hard to score quickly in uh, legend difficulty. Although we've somehow managed to do it here due to some wayward bowling, and this is a test match, so it's a bit hard to judge. Kind of leave that. Okay, I think we need to take a step back in our crease. Just to avoid getting stumped so that when that happens, they don't try and stump us. And that, um, we're doing a very good job of keeping the boys in the sheds. Um, alongside Silva, who's battling away on 129. And we are just using this leg side to good effect. No, uh-oh. That is, okay. I was trying to press no as soon as I saw the throw, but that was very lucky. Um, my heart was in my mouth just for a second there. Whew, that was a tight run. Oh, okay. We get this little slow cut shot away. No, no, no. This one. Oh, look at that. Direct hit. Right, so, what's the situation? How much are we lead by now? Just 39. We are now the second top score overtaking Pura and Patterson. But, however, Angela Matthews is yet to come in, so... Realistically, he can... Oh, that's out. Oh, no. Just played a little bit across the line. It was all going so well until that very moment. Just play a little bit too far across the line, as I already said, and leading edge from the back of the bat by the looks of it has meant that it's just popped up straight to mid, uh, straight to Coven. He's taking a simple catch. We're not going to challenge, because that's just silly. But regardless, good start to the career mode, but could have had more, but, you know, those, that happens. And, um, okay, I'm very sorry about that bat of Angela Matthews. Oh, my goodness. He ended up scoring 200 runs. Oh my, it's a run fest at the moment in Zimbabwe. As we come up to bat in the second innings, high average now. We actually only have a target of 200, but 250 though. As um, 
let's have a look at the previous couple of innings gone by. So, Silver ended up with 200 off 299 balls. Chandamal got 50. The other Mendes, J Mendes, or Jeevan or whatever, Mendes, um, got 37. And um, some really tough innings of 17 of 47. 14 off 30 down the bottom of the order, but regardless, we declared for 9 for 522. As Zimbabwe batted themselves back in this game, with Matsukadza getting 136, Williams getting another ton, 121, so twin tons, Musa Kanda getting 46, and Chakaba getting 55. And now Kushal Silva got 32 off 34, and Peru got 7 off 8. Right, so, we only have 150 to get here. So, it's not the uh, biggest target on the world. And uh, we'll be trying to look to not play across the line like we just did to dismiss ourselves, because the short cover is in play. We're going to step across, just keep a middle stump guard, as for some reason my guy steps across again. Mid shot. It's a bit of a slight. No, no, no. I'm not going to take the risk. We're batting with Patterson. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. He's on 13 right now. As we face Musa Kanda. First ball. Oh, he's a fastball, isn't he? No, uh, maybe. He's gone to the wrong end, so we're going to run two. On three, look at the heavy cracks in the pitch just bottom of my screen there. Look at that, around the crease, and we need to be careful because the ball is going to be zipping around a little bit. Could leave it in the end, leaving a bit late because um, get that stamina. Look at that, we are going to be looking to access the offside, thank you. Oh, I've got past the fielder. Look at that, poor fielding. Should have surely stopped there. I'm going to take an easy two. Now the goal for this inning should be to try and get to win half centuries here. To try and just put our name up for future selection. To avoid people stealing our position at number four. Because, um, you know, there's domestic players out there who are Battling for our battling for our slot. So we have to try and keep them on edge, keep them at bay, as we uh, are currently only a fringe member of the side, so we need to try and establish ourselves before thinking about trying to win the World Cup. We would love to captain our team to do that, but that's a little while away yet, so we will gracefully keep going. We'll leave that. A bit of a wayward ball. Not really going to make us play, so not really any point in playing it. And I've walked across again. And, uh, don't need to play it again. No point, so we're just going to step away. Oh, that's wrong line to play right there. But, all good. Gonna interrupt the commentator as always. Right. We are back. Heavy onside field. It's gonna be a challenge and a half. Oh edge, but there's no one there. No right end. Is it a pink ball? It's really hard to tell. Really is hard to tell. I think it is because otherwise I'd have pink spots on my bat does look red, but uh, some angles does look pink, so I'm pretty sure it's red. Oh, there we go. Straight to the mid wicket in the deep. We'll look for two, and we're not going to get it. Just one. Steel strike again. Just ticking things over. Wellington Matsukatsa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Right, we need... There's only 25 of us left in the day. Okay, we need to step back again. 
just quickly look at what day it is. It's only day four. Okay, so we've still got a whole day. It's been quite a. Um, it's been quite the pitch for runs. Um, as this pitch versus Zimbabwe. Good running. Because we knew the keeper would take some time to collect the ball away from the stump, so we were able to slide out there and get in. No, nah, no, nah, it's a good throw, good throw. Good, 12 rounds. Um, other than that, there's not really too much to say, I mean, just need to keep the task simple. No run. Uh, other than that, yeah, um, I guess we'll see what happens with this career mode, um, with Ashes Cricket. It shouldn't disappear with Ashes Cricket. Oh, did I hit that? Ah. Huh. How am I out? Because I think it says I'm caught. I might need to challenge this. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely heavy uh heavy confidence and uh I think I think we hit that. I'm gonna be honest. Don't think we hit that and I don't think that's LBW's, but uh looks like we could be double out. Right, we'll see, we're at pitches. Oh, I think we might have edged this. Because if we've edged it, I think we're out. But it'll be interesting to see. Ah, oh, please, just hit my pad. I don't mind getting out of the W. Oh, no, I've nicked it. No, that's not what I want. We've nicked it. Just a little feather. It'll be interesting to see whether the umpire gives us out still. Because I think... I don't know, let's see. Yeah, edge. That is quite annoying, but that that's pretty unlucky, I'd say. Just to get that little tickle there. Oh my! They gave it not out. I got the achievement staying put. That's challenging the decision, so I think he gave me... LBW. Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't be at the crease right now, I don't think. That is quite the blunder to get first up. Uh, the second episode... Already, we should should have been out. LBW, I mean, we should have been out court, not LBW. Should have been out court at slip because I think that's what the game game gave me. But the game got confused, I think, because it thought, oh, it's he's not LBW because he's hit it. You're not out. But it actually carried to the keeper. So in other words, I think I got away with a massive call there, um, which could swing this game back in the hands of Sri Lanka. As we hit another boundary. Well, I hit it first boundary, I think, of this innings. That was close. We've got away with one there, tell you that much. The uh, Zimbabweans won't be very happy after they find out. Well, they might have already found out that uh, I nicked that one. Oh, I'm sending them all the way back. Oh, goodness. Would have been tight there. Right. So, um, yeah, we're going to... This will probably be the last over, and then we'll have to call it again for another episode. Unfortunately, we have to do multiple in uh, one episode, because otherwise... Otherwise, we're not going to get through the games. Or otherwise, we have to do uh, extra long videos. I'm not going to really want to do that, but that's fine. That's fine. But I mean, we're on the verge of victory anyway, so I'm not too worried. But we got 50 partnership off just 54 balls. Right, so we only have 100 to win now. Eight wickets in hand. Plenty of time left in this game. Last over. Including a DRS blunder in the second episode of this career mode, which is ridiculous to think about. 
could look at two. He's thrown to the wrong end. Good running. Regardless, we bat on, thankfully. We have to use this opportunity now that we've got given a an opportunity through DRS, messing up, or bars. We're gonna let's blame bars on that. Not DRS. D DRS would have given me out. Bars decided that I was not out. Ooh, that was tight. And that's a perfect time to call it. We are just exiting the field. So let me just have a look at our score real quick. Actually, I'm just going to get back on the field and then I'll uh, end it off here. So, right. This is the uh, situation of the match. So we second top scored in the first innings. And we are now, what well, looks to be fourth top scoring, I think. Third? Third. Top scoring. Behind Patterson and Silva. And uh, we trail by 109 runs to win this match. So please, if you enjoyed this match, please leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this. And I'll see you all in the next episode when we try and take this match home. Otherwise, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>